really are taking a liking to Coach Lado. I mean, we're really excited about him coming in, coming in with a lot of energy and, and things like that. And his his message to us is real positive. And everybody in the team, I mean, is just looking up to him, and we're just ready to follow. I mean, the path he has for us. Really, you should not be a man on this team that shoots under seventy. First practice was real tough. I mean, it was all defense. I was blown away by like the commitment we we're going to have to make to be a good team because not much of it is expected of us this year. And we know if we're going to win, I mean, it's going to be on defense end. You know, he's pushing us to the limit, uh, places we've never been before. You know, we just got to step up, set the challenge, and just get ready for this season. Uh, I think they realize that uh, to be better than they were defensively is something that we'll have to do. And that's a starting point. We're still committed as, as much, if not more than ever before, about creating Virginia basketball in the mode of, of defense and rebounding and toughness. And I think if you look across the ACC, uh, using that as, as hopefully a niche that, that we can uh, use to have our identity versus the identity of some of the other programs in the league. Guards got to get more rebounds and uh, have the big man out. Uh, you know, just comes down to boxing out the guy. It's all about effort. You know, that's the only thing we just got to do, just give an effort. They are now. We both know that teams are going to focus in on this and boxing one, this a triangle and two, things like that. But it's just up to us to stay focused and just buy into the team concept. We expect it's going to be difficult because, again, without you know a lot of scoring options in the front court, the teams are going to scout us and put a heavy emphasis on on stopping those guys from it. But they're going to have to work their way through it as as we will have to do as a group. JR and I can't do it alone. I mean, we need the whole team, the whole roster. We're just going to just trust our teammates, I mean, that they'll step up. A lot of guys are overlooking Tunji as well. I mean, he's a, he's a, a nice defensive presence towards the end of the season, but over the summer he's been working on his game and he's added some offense to his game, so it'll be a surprise. To be 6'9 and 6'10 and with the wingspan that he has, and particularly because we want to be about defense, you know, here's a guy that... Uh, as he's learning more about his offense, can contribute in a lot of ways on, on that end of the floor, and blocking shots, intimidating, or just being a presence in the middle. You know, Mamadi has, has been a, a pleasant surprise, and Adrian is right there with him. There's two guys that hadn't been talked about a lot, but I think I've been surprised pleasantly as to uh, their potential. He has a lot more than athleticism to his game. He's a real good shooter and things like that, and he plays good defense. I mean, he's definitely going to surprise a lot of people. We're going to surprise a whole lot of people. You know, I love him when people doubt us. Then you have more to look forward to. You got, you know, you can look forward to showing people what you've been working on all summer and uh, during the school year how hard you've been working. So when we step foot on that court, we're going to be all about business. We're going to give 100%. I mean, we've been working hard, and we, I mean, we're ready to surprise some people. We know we know that people are going to overlook us and uh, just not expect much from us, but we're going to prove them all wrong. <laughs>